Hello you guys, so welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I've been starting out a lot of vlogs lately, driving. <laughs> but I am in town right now. Not the town I live in. I don't have an Aldi in the town I live in. I have to go to the next town, which is like a 20, 25 minute drive. Um, and I needed to come here because this is, it's like a bigger city. We live in a very small city. Um, but I wanted to go to Aldi and then I had to pick up, my sister bought some 2T summer clothes for Addie off of Facebook Marketplace and I just had to pick them up. And then I had to get some stuff for Jack for baseball. He has baseball practice tonight and he just had told me last night that his pants and his shoes do not fit him from last year. So I was like, well, um, you could have told me that sooner, but... It's okay. Um, I went to that Play It Again Sports to get his sports stuff. And I just have to say, like, they're so cheap. I got his baseball pants. Like, the stuff's not in, like, amazing condition. But, like, he's a kid. He's going to outgrow it by the following year. He's going to wear it for one season. For You know, it's not like he's going to wear it that often. So, the pants were $4.99. And then the shoes were $11.99. Which I'll show you when I get home. Um, and then I also went to Aldi. I spent, like, $61, $62. Which I'm really really impressed with actually um I'm actually thinking that Aldi is going to be my new I'm gonna make the hike you know to go to Aldi more often for grocery shopping not necessarily more often but like try to shop more at Aldi than Walmart because we have a Walmart in my town but I have to say I think Aldi's a lot cheaper like um I don't know. I was just happy with everything I got for the price I got it. Like, I, yeah, I feel like what for what I got, I would have spent at least a hundred at Walmart. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy about that because you know, groceries are so dang expensive. Plus I do need to go. So when I do get back into town, I have to go and so for Father's Day, I think I'm going to get Willie, um, a massage and then like a we have this place in town where it's like a cupping cupping thing on your back. It's supposed to be good for inflammation. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool to try that. Get him like a ticket or like a gift certificate for a massa uh, like a massage and then like the cupping thing. So that's what I'm going to do when I get back into town. Well, maybe not right away. Um, I, I could do that any, any other day really because it's literally right in town anyways. I actually think I'm going to I might just probably go home right away actually get these groceries put away and then because I have a lot of cold stuff and then I think actually Willie wanted there's a brat brat fry whatever at the VFW um so I think he wanted to take he wanted us all to go there get like a hot dog or something so I think we're gonna do that for lunch um I will just I'll do the hot dog I just won't do the bun but I wanted to share some things I got. So I was like, last night, I was like, just, I don't know what it is about this girl, but what's her name? I think it's Tiffany. And she's, she's very, if you know, you know, like she's gone viral. Um, she, why does that look so dark here? I mean, she, do I have, a, I don't know why it's, I feel like my skin is like the color is off or it looks off. I don't know what that is right there um, or why it's like darker. But the girl, her name's Tiffany and she shares like what she eats and she has just like a, she always has like just the most random things and she's the one that came up with like the cottage cheese and the mustard and then dipping everything in and in, in the mustard. Um, you probably have heard of her. She's all over reels and stuff. So I was, I just got sucked into her videos and there is some, and I was really hungry last night. So I only had eight once yesterday. I had my, which will have been my previous vlog. Um, and then by the time like nine o'clock rolled around, I was actually pretty hungry, which I wasn't going to eat though, because it was 9 PM. I'm like, I'll just wait till tomorrow. Um, and then I still haven't eaten yet today though. It's like almost noon. Not, I just, I have had so many errands to run. I couldn't eat yet. But anyways, I was just like sucked into her videos and then I'm like I wrote down a list of everything I want to go buy and like eat that way like make a meal like that because it just looked so she made it look so good and I'm like I don't know I don't know and I I, I really do like mustard I don't know if I've ever had mustard on cottage cheese 
but I assume I would like it. I do like mustard, and she just makes it look good. I, I don't know. So, drinking an orange slush, or orange kiss, oh, Alani do. And headed back home. So, just thought I'd start off this vlog for Y'all done with this? Oh, you want to eat it? Well, then here. Um, for dinner tonight, I so I got a steak, a sirloin steak, because I'm going to make Philly cheesesteak, which sounds so good. I am going to do, so the boys cannot have a regular one. I'm just going to put theirs on, like, either hamburger buns or hot dog buns, because I have both of those at home. I'm not going to go out and buy a hoagie or whatever for them. So they can just use the buns we have at home. And then I'm going to actually... I think I'm gonna bake some peppers and do mine as like a stuffed pepper. Um, I don't know actually. I maybe I'll just do like a bowl. I don't. Maybe I don't really need to even make it out of a pepper. But and maybe I could just saute the peppers. I might do that actually. So make sure you guys stay tuned if you want to see a really yummy keto meal, which I've never made it actually. But I was watching Home with Haley her vlog yesterday and she made it and it just. It looked really good, and I know she she makes them all the time, and she, they all really love them. And I'm just like, I gotta make that. I gotta make that. So, can you close the door, please? Okay. So I just laid on my Aldi haul. I'm gonna do show you guys what I got for Jack. Like it was so the total came to 1783, and it's basically just a sports store. I, I don't know if they have these. I'll play it again in all towns. I don't know, but not all towns, but like a lot of towns. Um, but it's basically a thrift store for sports. So, so I got these baseball pants, and like I said, they were $4.99. Can't beat that, right? There's like a little hair there or whatever but like that see like that doesn't matter like these are gonna be used for a season and then for $11.99 we've got the shoes which I told Willie about it and he thinks that like he should have like a higher it should be higher but I was like whatever I'm like for one but they're there so yep want to show you that but let's um I'll show you guys my haul for Aldi so I spent 61. Blink can you go back please? Spent 61 65. That's everything. Um put my receipt down. So first off I got some keto reds just so I can freeze it because I've been using it so much. Then I've got these blue cheese stuffed olives. I thought those sounded good and I want to do that for like part of my lunch cottage cheese because I need some more. I got this garden salad mix because I have that ginger dressing I still have haven't used and I'm gonna make a little side salad for myself. And then we have I just needed some freezer gallon bags. I got a thing of cereal. This is must be their brand. Or no it's Millville it's not their brand. I oh I don't know is it um but yeah it's like probably like peanut butter cups and then we got some vanilla wafers we got some honey buns Excuse me, these I got for myself, they're keto. Um, so it's three grams of net carbs and they're chocolate chip peanut butter bars. So I thought I'd give those a shot. I got some cucumbers. I got another thing of chicken. This was like five bucks for this. Um, everyone, it seemed to be a hit last time. So I got some more, just put in the freezer. This is the steak I got. This was $8.95. That's gonna be for the Philly cheese steaks. And then I've got some more cookies again. These are the birthday cake flavor. They're two grams of net carbs for about seven cookies, which is not bad at all. Um, so probably try some of those as well. I got some mushrooms for the Philly cheesesteak. I do have mushrooms in the fridge, but I just don't know if they're bad. And then we got some radishes. We're gonna add that into our little lunch smorgasbord thing I wanna make. Provolone cheese for the Philly cheesesteaks. I got a couple things of chicken sausage. I'm really excited for, I both of them I guess, but the spinach feta sounds really good. Um, I'm gonna use these as well because a girl always does chicken sausage and I just, I don't know, She, I just like, it made me crave it. It made me crave all the stuff. Um, and then I've got some lunch meat. There's uh, turkey breast and then honey ham for the kids to make sandwiches. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do sand, have them do sandwiches for lunch today. Cereal, why do we have the cereal out? 
You want some? No, we're gonna make lunch. No deal. Not for lunch, silly. Okay, so I'm just making the kids sandwiches for lunch. Okay, so while I'm toasting the bread for the kids' sandwiches, I'm going to try this cookie. Let me end off my fast really quick, actually, in my app. So I've been fasting for 21 hours and 20 minutes. Crazy. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Those are actually really good. They remind me of, like, what is that cookie that they, like a shortbread? I don't know if it's a shortbread, but, mmm. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Way too good. Okay. I just realized I'm not going to do lunch meat sandwiches because they're sloppy joe. I forgot I still have sloppy joe stuff in the fridge so oh no I'm like I should eat that too. I don't know. I'm going to do that for the kids at least. They like Sloppy Joe's, so it's all good. Okay, guys. This is what we got. It kind of, honestly, it looks really good. So we got a chicken sausage, cucumber, cottage cheese, egg, mustard, pickle. Shh. You got to sit it up there and eat. Pickled artichokes, banana peppers, blue cheese olives, radishes. I don't know if I said everything, but um, we're going to give this a shot. For, well, first off, I wanted to try the mustard with cottage cheese. It's not bad, actually. Like, if you like mustard, it's not bad. Um, so, where do we start? Let's start at um, a radish. Dip that in. Not disappointed. Oh, forgot to do my little salad, but that's okay. Um, then we're gonna do. Let's do a olive. I'm like, gosh, I can't think of what it's called. Um, an egg. Dipped in the mustard and cottage cheese. I mean, it's not bad. If you like mustard, I think you'd like it. Let's do the chicken sausage. Mmm. This is really good. But it almost looks raw in the middle. Let me see if they're fully cooked. Okay, well, the package does say that they're fully cooked, so I guess whatever. Let's do our pickle. Or, this is not a pickle. Cucumber. Hmm. That's actually a really good cucumber. Really good. These are from Aldi. Banana pepper. Am I doing it right? <laughs> um, and then artichoke, which I do like these a lot. Mm -mm. Mm 
This is Blaine's food. It is so hard to get this kid to eat sometimes. Blaine, let's finish your sloppy, some of your, I need you to eat some protein. Well, I'm gonna go ahead, finish eating. I do still have to put some groceries away, but I wanted to eat quick. It's 12.42, but I wanted to eat quick so that I'm not, it's not like yesterday where I was so full and couldn't even eat supper because I want to eat some Philly cheesesteak for supper. Want the egg? Yeah. I have that much egg life. Oh my gosh, I am really full though. I'm not going to lie. Um, super filling, like... Obviously, with the chicken sausage, cottage cheese, and egg, with all that protein. And then not eating for almost a full day. <laughs> but this was kind of a cool idea. I'm not... I'm not disappointed. You want to try radish? what you think what you think of the radish mm, yummy mama loves them <laughs> what are you doing with it Not a fan? No, no. Here, you can just throw away. Mama's full. I just want to finish the sausage. I don't want to waste it. Oh my gosh, I am so full though. I really like the mustard on the cottage cheese. Honestly though, these all these chicken sausages. No, nothing. I don't talk like this, but they slap. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna open up a bubbly. This one is the strawberry sunset. Bubbly. Bubbly. Bubbly, yeah. Uh. Um, I think I said this in my last vlog, but I've been really obsessed with these bubbly things. No. I used. It took me a little oh, bit. Yeah. I will say, like, starting drinking, like, um, sparkling water, it did take me a little bit to get over that hump because it does have, like, that club soda taste, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it took me a little bit to get over that, like, because I was, like, always, like, eh, it's all right. Like, it's not my favorite, but I do, I do like them, though. No. So. No. I'm gonna finish putting like the stuff away that I left out. Um, no, 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 at some point, no, I want to try these, but I am so full, like ridiculously full, which is actually a really good thing because I filled up on obviously healthy foods. Uh, I also okay, so I wanted to share with the sausage because I didn't even look myself, but so. That is so silly of you. So for one link, it's 140 calories, and there's only one gram of carbs. I don't know. I really like chicken sausages. Um, yeah, it does say, it's telling you how to cook it for 8 to 10 minutes, but then I'm like, so does it need to be cooked? But no, it says right here, fully cooked, keep refrigerated. So it was cooked. I think it just looked raw because like the feta cheese in the middle was like, I don't know. It kind of looked pink. I'm not going to lie. But um, it's fully cooked. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will say if you have an Aldi around you, try these chicken sausages. And try the cucumbers because the cucumbers. No, we can't do that today. I'm sorry. The cucumbers, um, they were really good. Like really good actually. Like I, I, I like cucumbers, but I'm not like a cucumber fanatic or by any means like they're all right but like that one i will probably eat those cucumbers as a snack often not today buddy 
Sorry, can you open them back? So I'm gonna go clean up. Okay, so it is 3.30. I'm gonna start prepping dinner, but I wanna take a bite of one of these keto bars. I just, I'm like bad about that where when I get something new, I really just wanna try it. So I'm gonna try it. It's like dark chocolate. Hey, don't act like that. This no. isn't bad, actually. Basically, I'm gonna have to get another thing of minced garlic. Some more, or not some more, but some minced garlic. So I put about that much in there. And then it called for like three tablespoons of Worcestershire. So let's do that. If I can find a. I might do two. Um, I, we'll see. I just, I don't have, because it was called, it called for three for a pound and a half of meat, and I have a pound, 1.3 pounds, which I guess is probably close enough. So let's just do two and a half, or two and three quarters, whatever. There we go. Um, so there's the marinade. Oh, we need salt and pepper. Do some pepper, some salt. And then actually, I'm gonna add in some of this prep. Um, actually, no. I'm going to do this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse and add that in there. I'm gonna mix that all together. It smells pretty decent. So 
home when I watched Home with Haley make this, she didn't do like a marinade, but when I was looking up directions on making this, there it did have a marinade, so I'm like, well, what the heck? I'm gonna do a marinade just so it has a little extra flavor um, in the meat. So there's that, and then let's because it's 4:04 right now, so I don't need to start cooking until I don't know five maybe we'll see i don't even know when willie's willie's gonna be home so all that depends get this garlic in here so i'm gonna just kind of let this all good meal um I think it will be but we'll see so there we go so we're gonna let that sit in the fridge you could let it marinate overnight it's a, it's a little, you for 20 minutes to overnight so in between that um for me it's gonna be like an hour I when I marinate stuff I do like to marinate stuff like overnight because it really gets all the flavors but obviously I did not think about that Okay, so I just got back home from a delivery. So it's like 5.30 right now. I'm gonna start making this food. I didn't want it to be this late, but that's fine. So we're gonna fry up our veggies and some butter, and then we'll add in the meat at some point. I could have done more onions actually but whatever that's fine and then I do also have the air fryer out so I'm gonna butter the hot dog buns and then toast them in the air fryer um, you would usually use like hoey buns for something like this but I have leftover hot dog buns that I'm like I'm just gonna use these up why not and I have hamburger buns. I could have honestly done it on those also. And then obviously I would do them. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house. And I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake now. You keep missing out for sure. right now so I'm gonna scoop myself a bowl and I'm trying to figure out how I am going to get um, my cheese melted but I think if I just set a piece of the cheese on here like this and then just let it sit it'll be fine I actually think I'm gonna put a little bit of the juice in the bowl the juice might actually be good it'd be like an au jus type of thing so i'm gonna i might actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try microwaving it for like it's on for like 11 seconds since it's up to it's at right now and that'll melt the cheese okay so there we go um it's not super melted, but it's pretty decently melted. So I'm going to go ahead and eat mine really quick because I want to 
eat it while it's still warm and do a taste test and start my fast because it's already 5.43 so I'm ending my fast a lot later today than usual. So let's try it here. Get a piece of meat. The cheese didn't like melt as good as I would have liked. Very cheesy. So... Piece of pepper. Mmm. I'm gonna add mayonnaise. It's good though. Why are you staring at me? I hate when people watch me record. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. The mayonnaise is really good on it. So. So good. But. I'm gonna go check on the buns. Okay, that was actually pretty good with the mayonnaise. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up my this Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna start my fast, even though I'm gonna drink a Dr. Pepper. A little stir fast. I'm still drinking this because this is zero calories. The only thing is it's just 60 milligrams of sodium, but it's fine. So I'm gonna drink this and clean up. Give Blaine a bath. Jack's got baseball. Oh, it's like so refreshing. <laughs> um, I don't really drink soda often, but when I do, it's like, yeah. Okay, so anyways, yeah, I'm gonna clean up. The probably just relax, have a relaxing night, because I got a lot of work done today and just a lot of errands. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.